Hey hello team, welcome back to TBR Tombola 2023. In case you didn't know, this book reviews my channel and it is January 2023, which means TBR Tombola is making a triumphant return, or at least a a trial of a triumphant return. I feel like I need to to revamp it once more, or at least relook at the relook at some some categories. Anyway, if you don't know what TBR Tombola is, it is a TBR game that I have made up where I pick numbers from a Tombola machine, aka a bingo machine, and to each of the numbers I have attached a prompt and then I pick a book out from those prompts. I have been vaguely following TBRs in 2022. Not entirely, I don't think I won any of them, and some of them I've even just sort of like skipped or I've I've picked books and then I've I've just not followed along whatsoever. But 2023 is the year of the return of TV Artembola, or at least that's what I hope. If you'd like to check out a video describing each of the prompts, then I will leave a link to TBR 2.0 down below. I may, in the upcoming months, do TBR 2.3, TBR 3.0, and then I will link a new video to that. Or I may just leave it like this and hope for all all of the tbr gods to be on my side it's all of these are maybes also yes we still have christmas decorations up those are coming down today but i wanted to get this video up so let's just jump straight into what i am hoping to read in january is girlfriend's choice and girlfriend also had a choice in december and i didn't read that book and she's not home right now so i am just going to reuse her choice for December and hopefully read The Blood Trials by Annie Davenport which is a dystopian sci-fi fantasy novel following a young woman who enters a sort of like Hunger Game gladiator-esque competition that is meant to be like for military rulers or to choose the best warriors but she is doing it to avenge her grandfather and I have heard very 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 good things about this book I'm super excited about it this cover is just absolutely stunning and I just I really meant to read it in December and it just didn't happen so I'm really it's January it's January time team Next we have 71 which is an adult fantasy and I will actually hopefully be reading two books for this prompt. So this is A Temple of No God and Barrow of Winter by H.M. Long. I was lucky enough to be sent a uh, sort of early copy by Titan Books who reached out to me so I will have a Instagram post up about this on the 19th of January. It comes out on the 18th and I am hoping to read it prior to that so that I can put up a review of it on its publication date. I'm super excited for both of these. These are two standalones set in the same world as Hall of Smoke, which was a book that I read last year and really loved. It is set in a Viking-esque fantasy world, lots of warrior women, lots of guards that may or may not really be guards, maybe monsters, maybe not. Uh, Temple of No God follows the same character as Hall of Smoke, who is a sort of warrior queen, warrior screaming woman with an axe that I adore. And Bearer of Winter follows a demi goddess who sets out to sort of visit the country that her father once ruled, where she finds that her goddess and god siblings may or may not be trying to reach a little bit further than they should. I'm super excited for both of these and I'm really hoping that I can get to them. They read super easily but like very nicely. The world building is superb and I, yeah, yeah, both of these are going on the list though. Also, just look at this nice spine. Next we have 14, which is urban fantasy, and I will be reading a much anticipated book. This is Hell Followed With Us by Andrew Joseph White, which is a trance zombie apocalypse adventure time. 
We are following a young trans boy who named Benji running away from a cult which started at the end of the world and one of the reasons he is running from them is because they like injected him with some sort of serum that may or may not be turning him into a monster or a god and he is running from them and he sort of accidentally stumbles upon a group of youngsters who used to be like an LGBT center and they are trying their best to survive and I just I have heard nothing but amazing things about this one I absolutely loved this cover and though I didn't get it till early December last year it is one that I have been keeping my eyes on for quite a while so I'm hoping that this will be a magnificent five star to add to my shelves. <laughs> Next we have number six or number nine but it doesn't matter because the prompt is the same and that is YA fantasy and I am not sure whether this is YA fantasy or not but I really want to read it so we're going to go with A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. This I believe could be YA, it could also be magical realism. I'm not entirely sure. All I know is that there's like a haunted magical island and a young boy who returns after being away and there's lots of spirits and does like, uh, yeah, I'm I'm very excited. I've heard very, very good things. I also absolutely adore the Illumicrate cover and I'm sort of sad that I didn't get the sequel in the, in the same because look at this. Also, look at this. Ah, okay, yeah, so I, I may be reaching, but I may not be, and hopefully I'll still read it. And last but not least, we have 43, which is a friend recommendation, and I have been reaching again, and I'm going to read Lies We Sing to the Sea by Sarah Underwood, and Sarah Underwood is technically my friend on TikTok, so I am going to count that as a friend recommendation. I also very generously sent this up by Electric Monkey and Sarah, and I just, I'm so super excited. I believe that it is sort of a reimagining of the Odyssey, but set from another set of characters' um, perspective. I believe we are following a young woman who gets executed for the murder of Poseidon's maidens and then as she wakes up her death is very much not what she expected and I believe that there is some sapphic love and a sad boy and angry young women and I am just here for it and also how beautiful is this arc like yes thank you beautiful amazing I love it this comes out on the 16th of March and yes I know that I have a couple of uh, early releases in here and I'm very excited about and it. here you have a team my very hopeful TBR for January I don't think it looks too bad I'm being I'm being kind I'm trying I'm also trying to crawl out of a fan fiction hole so um this should hopefully help but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit subscribe button at the same time so you don't miss out on any other videos from me. You can also click the little bell to give you a notification when I put up a new video. And I am hoping that I can get back into making sort of more videos for YouTube because I actually really enjoy it. And besides, I miss you guys and you should all miss my face. So take care of yourself. Remember that I'm proud of you and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, TBL and Bullies. Okay, what is happening with this color? Okay, just... No, too much.